Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Tom Vecchio of FanDuel as we take a look at the top stars on the DFS slate for week number nine. What's going on, Tom? I'm doing good. I can't believe the season's, you know, halfway over. We have 11 games, so let's hop in. The season is halfway over, and one of the breakout stars of this first half it's been Justin Herbert of the Los Angeles Chargers. Pressed into duty here when Tyrod Taylor uh, suffered the unfortunate injury pregame. Well, Herbert stepped in and he hasn't looked back. This week, he's priced at $7,900 for the Chargers. And although they're still the same old Chargers losing at the buzzer constantly, Herbert's been fantastic from a DFS perspective, and we expect more of the same here this weekend. Absolutely. And, you know, I kind of like the fact that their defense is collapsing, you know, it might be tough on their fans, but from a fantasy perspective, it's actually pretty good because we know that the, you know, passing environment will always be there for him. And it's not like they're going to be constantly running the ball. And speaking of passing, he has 43 passing attempts or more in three of his past six or three of his only six games in the NFL. We have a solid over under against the Raiders sitting at 54. The Raiders are allowing 21.2 fan duel points per game to opposing quarterbacks. That's the ninth worst in the league. We know that Herbert has the ability to get the ball deep and, and really rack up the touchdowns. He has three touchdowns or more in five of his six, excuse me, he has three touchdowns or more in four straight weeks and 23 fan duel points or more in five of his six starts. There's a lot going on here, right? We, we don't care about the defense. We care about all the passing, all the touchdowns, and really all the fantasy points for Herbert. Herbert's been an absolute beast over the last month so since stepping into that starting role. Uh, as I said, he hasn't looked back, and we don't expect that to change, certainly, this weekend. Herbert in a great spot, so let's keep riding with him. Moving on to the running back position, James Conner and the Steelers are undefeated. They'll go for their best start ever if they can win this weekend. Now, we don't necessarily care about the record, but we do care about the Steelers' offense that has run through James Conner uh, really ever since week two. $8,200 for James Conner here this Sunday. Why is he your favorite running back star on the slate? Yeah, uh, Connor's one of the players I really haven't been on too many times this season, but this spot just sets up it, it too good for them to pass up. They're on the road. They're up against Dallas. We see the Steelers with a 29 implied team total on the road, but really there's no reason they shouldn't be controlling this game. We have seen, you know, Connor really be the bell cow back for the Steelers. He comes in with 18 total touches or more in six of his seven games this season. He can get it done on the ground. He can get it done a little bit in the air. We know Dallas is terrible on defense against running backs. They've actually allowed the most uh, – uh, rushing yards to opposing running backs this season, and they're allowing 23.1 fatal points per game to opposing running backs. So it doesn't matter that they're on the road. I would love for them to be at home, but really the Dallas defense is what we want to attack. Connor hasn't been one of your mainstays here that we've talked about uh, all that much, but with the running attack of Pittsburgh being so good, even though they're on the road, it's worth going to here in this spot, $8,200 for James Connor this Sunday. One more player to get to, and he's at the wide receiver spot. And it's Stephon Diggs of the Buffalo Bills, a Bills team that has certainly struggled over the past month in general. Diggs is priced at $7,600. Why is this the week that Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs are really going to get it back on track? I certainly hope so that this is the week they get back on track. You know, they had a couple tough games. Last week it was the weather, it was this, that, all these different factors. But this week, an amazing spot going up against Seattle. This is a recurring theme. You know, a couple weeks ago, uh, we want to attack Seattle with – uh, Hopkins and Kirk last week. It was Brandon Ayuk who had 19.1 uh, fandom points. He was on values last week. Now we have Diggs who leads the Bills in targets sitting up at 81. And the player in second, Cole Beasley, isn't even close sitting at 50. We know that Seattle is just absolutely terrible against wide receivers this year, allowing 47.0 fandu points per game to opposing wide receivers. We have a 54 over under. This is kind of shaping up to be a bit of a shootout. We shouldn't have any weather issues. We have, you know, a weak defense on the side of Seattle. We have the deep ball threat from Diggs. Uh, everything's lining up for him this week. If the weather is right uh, for the Buffalo Bills, the matchup certainly is. And, and hopefully things will get a bit better for Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs, who you, you were able to rely on over the first couple of weeks, had a bit of a setback, uh, a couple of stumbling blocks here with the schedule and the weather. This week is the week it all changes, we hope. That's going to do it for us here on the FanDuel Hurry Up. But we're not done filling out our DFS lineups. Tom and I will be back on Thursday to go over the top value plays on the board. Can't wait to see that, Tom. Absolutely. Talk to you then. But before we get back to Tom, we'll talk to Megan Nunez tomorrow as we'll go over her favorite bets for week number nine. For Tom Vecchio, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.